Welcome to Let's Talk Mental Health, where we bring awareness to the causes and solutions of mental health conditions. I'm your host, Nathan Nedley, and I'm here with Dr. Neil Nedley, and we are talking about mental health and the coronavirus. What mental health risks are we facing surrounding the COVID-19 crisis? Well, evidence is that PTSD is up considerably. Uh, alcohol use is up dramatically. Uh, depression is up. Anxiety is up. Behavioral disorders are going up significantly. Domestic violence is going up. Child abuse is going up. These are all consequences of the pandemic and the response um, to the pandemic. And uh, we've been so focused in on the pandemic that we've lost um, some major focus in regards to mental health issues. In fact, there are people actually preventing themselves from coming to mental health programs that would help themselves, including their immune system, because of fear of the coronavirus, where actually if they take good healthy measures, their risk is very nil of contracting it and going to a mental health facility to get the help they need. You mentioned uh, specific mental disorders and illnesses, but are there statistics behind this that are showing certain signs? What are, what are the numbers here that we're seeing? Yeah, well, so far in Los Angeles, for instance, calls to a suicide and help hotline went up by over 8,000% between February and March uh, during the COVID crisis. Uh, Calls went from the suicide hotline to 22 calls a month to 1,800 calls wow. per month. LA and Orange counties both hiring and training more staff to help manage the huge call volume of hurting people. So governments are trying to respond in the way that they can. Uh, but this is just uh, an indicator of what's happening uh, with the mental health. Kaiser Family Foundation poll found that almost half of Americans report the novel coronavirus to have harmed their mental health. And so, you know, that's 150 million people who recognize that their mental health has actually gone down significantly um, as a result of the coronavirus. Gallup also did a poll, and they found Americans' mental health is suffering actually more than their physical health and more than their financial health. Uh, with the coronavirus. And of course, we know the physical and financial implications are amazing, but even more incredible is the mental health consequences. Emotional well-being is being attacked at a stronger rate than ever before in history. And one online therapy company reported a 65% increase in clients in February alone. Uh, and of course, mental health uh, centers are uh, governments are allowing them in some situations to do online uh, types of counseling and therapy sessions. Uh, but actually, there's no real substitute for face-to-face -face, uh, therapy sessions, uh, particularly when you're dealing with significant issues. And so uh, it's actually uh, worth it, as long as you're taking proper precautions, it's actually worth it to get face-to-face -face mental health care even more so than most physical health care. With all this attention on the coronavirus and obviously on uh, the physical side of the coronavirus, are there any medical organizations that are honing in on the, the mental health side of things? Well, uh, fortunately, JAMA Internal Medicine, which has all been about the physical COVID, they put out an article recently um, speaking of the mental health consequences of COVID-19 and physical or social distancing and they mention you know a lot of the things that we've mentioned uh, here today and so there are organizations like the AMA and others who are very concerned about where we are going with our mental health in this country. With all of these mental health crises that we're facing what is the ideal treatment option? The ideal treatment option for mental health challenges is still face-to-face -face social interactions with your therapists, your physicians, with other group participants, and have it be a comprehensive approach. Our COVID programs that we have been running in mental health, our patients are thrilled with those results. There is no substitute for that type of intimate setting. For those that the ideal is not a possibility, what are some options that they can do from their own home? 
A very good plan B is our online depression and anxiety recovery program. Uh, you know, that's why we put out the program actually was for those that cannot, for whatever reason, uh, have the ideal situation. And they'll still be able to get a lot of good material and a good support uh, network in regards to um, availing themselves of our online program. Okay, and uh, what about uh, counseling options? Are there uh, places that people can go to get uh, free information or, uh, or educational-based uh, materials regarding mental health topics? Uh, yes, uh, we do. Of course, you could go into our archives on Let's Talk Mental Health. Uh, you can go to our blogs. There's a lot of um, good free resources there available. Uh, but there are also ones that would be specific for you. I mean, you can even schedule online physician visits. Uh, and we can still do lab work and things of that nature. We can also do online specific CBT counseling uh, where you have a live counselor. Those are all options that are well deserved to be looked at uh, during this crisis. But what you don't want to do is to just say, I'm gonna give this more time until COVID goes away and I'll let my mental health condition smolder. This is gonna suppress your immune system. COVID-19 is not going away. So taking care of the mental health issues that you're having now before they multiply and get out of control and now are associated with poor decisions is the worst option. And so please don't just not do anything. Well, thank you for uh, taking us through what is uh, currently happening in the mental health realm during our uh, coronavirus crisis. Appreciate your time, Dr. Nedley. And thank you for joining us on this episode of Let's Talk Mental Health. If you enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel out. And we will hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much.